Hi, welcome to the video where we will discuss cellular aging. Cellular aging is a process or uh, the concept of cells can't live indefinitely. The cells all have a, a lifespan and cells as they age they lose the capacity to proliferate, they lose the capacity to defend against um, you know the outside external environment. So there are several mechanisms by which cellular aging occurs and there has been uh, a lot of research in this area to try to see if we can advance our understanding of these mechanisms so that we can supposedly live longer and um, you know we can reverse this cellular aging process. So the four concepts in ways or in the ways that, that cells can age is through DNA damage, decreased cellular replication, reductive regenerative capacity of tissue stem cells and accumulation of metabolic damage. So we're going to talk about each one here and how this the, they contribute to the aging of cells. So in the case of DNA damage uh, we know that a cell has a nucleus and inside you got DNA damage and we kind of already talked about this in previous videos but it's good to review that you know if UV light is shine on here um, you know through too much sun exposure and it kind of damages this DNA there are ways you know which have uh, the body has to kind of repair or to double check to see if the DNA is is um, intact. And there are many more ways by which DNA can be damaged inside our nucleus and thus cause you know problems and and everything and so the cell cannot divide. Can't divide or undergoes apoptosis or some problems that cause cells. So if accumulation of cells um, can't divide well then that will lead to um, cellular aging. Now there is a recently proposed um, mechanism to kind of help with the DNA damage and that is calorie restriction and the sirtuin family. So it's proposed that, well, well it's been kind of long known that calorie, rest calorie restriction somehow when we restrict our calories for uh, an extended period of time that kind of shocks our system and, and kind of helps with this DNA damage and they've and they've proposed this uh, mechanism or this sirtuin family of molecules and there's a molecule called SIR2 and what the SIR2 does is they um, when we undergo calorie restriction it activates this molecule so you have increased activity of the SIR2 molecule of the SIR, sirtuin family so you increase this activity and that increases these uh, repair repair mechs, mechanisms that we have so as we increase this, as we incre as we do calorie restriction, we have an increase in the SIR2 activity, which that increases these repair mechanisms of for this DNA damage. So they're thinking that you know these repair mechanisms that we have for DNA will will help kind of fix the DNA so that our cells can last longer. So that's kind of a DNA damaged with. Um, change pin color here with decreased cellular rep replication it, you know it's clear that if we have uh, if our capacity to replicate our cells well that's going to uh, lead to a decrease or an increase rather in cellular aging and there's a thing there, there's uh, at the end of our DNA there's there's a, a structure that's called Telomere. So at the end of these DNA strands, there's there's a DNA sequence uh, that's called the telomere, 
And every time that a cell divides, you know, one cell turns into two cells, it divides, its DNA has to be copied. And every time this is copied, they're, they're suggesting that these, this telomere becomes shorter. So with division, cellular division, is decrease telomere length. And then as soon as the telomere, after so many times, the cell, the cell can only replicate so many times before this telomere is gone. And then once this telomere is gone, then the cell enters, um, they, they have a fancy word for it, cellular senescence, which just means that the cell um, can't divide. Can't divide. So when this telomere is gone, the cell cannot divide, and it, it, and it goes into a process called cellular senescence. And so with these telomeres, when every time that a cell uh, replicates, um, let me scroll, move over here a little bit. Every time this telomere, or every time this cell replicates, these telomeres are getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And then we all have a population of stem cells. And in stem cells, these cells uh, can turn into uh, different types of, of cells. This could be a liver cell. You know, these stem cells, they have the potential of being a liver cell. They have a potential of being an eye cell. They have a potential of being a muscle cell. And these stem cells, they have shown that there's an enzyme. Well, in all cells, there's an enzyme called telomerase. And this is an enzyme. And they found that these telomerases, what they do is they extend these telomeres. Because every time they're copied, these telomeres, there's a little bit of telomere that's kind of uh, deleted or not copied. And so it's you know advantageous to have some kind of enzyme that can extend these telomeres so you don't start eating into your code, into your DNA, DNA code, or it turns into cellular senescence, which means the cell is halted and it can never di divide again. So these, they found in these stem cells that there's, a, there's an increase a little bit, a little increase in telomerase. And they found in cancer cells, you know, the cells that go on and on and on and on and on, there's, a, there's quite a big, there's a big increase in telomerase. So they have these, um, um, they have these, um, you know, these huge increase in telomerase, and so these cancer cells they can keep dividing and dividing and dividing and dividing, and there's no kind of check mechanism because these telomerase activity is so high that it keeps extending these telomeres, so it won't undergo, it won't stop, you know, dividing. And there's, uh, you know, there's a lot of research about t telomeres and telomerase, and you know, there's, uh, uh, you know, how much stress we're under can affect our telomerase activity. Um, there's uh, Dr. Eppel, I think, out of the University of San Francisco, that's doing a lot of research about telomerase and stress and anxiety and different things. And it's kind of promising research, you know, that if we have less stress in our lives, maybe uh, telomerase activity will be increased and we'll live longer. Um, so who knows? That's we're still we're still out. We're still looking for an, an exact. Um, you know, answer to that, but it, but that's definitely interesting. The decreased cellular replication and the telomeres and telomerase. Kind of a going along with that last concept is this re reduced regenerative capacity of tissue stem cells. You know, so we talked about how this the stem cell can be converted into this cell type and this cell type, and if this stem cell loses its capacity to regenerate itself then obviously you're not going to have these stem cells that can that can be turned into different cell types so you know for example skin cells 
you know, they are very fast replicative, replicating, they can replicate very quickly, and there's a lot of them, and they're constantly regenerating, regenerating themselves. Let's say a chunk of tissue was removed from you, and so your skin was gone. Well, these stem cells say can say, oh, hey, look, there's a bunch of skin missing. I need to turn into a skin cell and regenerate some tissue, some skin that's gone here. Well, if you don't have any more stem cells that can turn into skin cells, for example, well, then, you know, obviously we're going to age and we're, you know, that's going to be problematic. And then the last type is um, accumulation of metabolic damage. So as we kind of kind of the same thing, kind of in the same camp as DNA damage, is that as we go through life, um, there's a lot of metabolic damage, and that can be can be damaging to our cells. That will quicken the process of aging. And in the case of this SIR2 activity that will help repair DNA damages in the, mecha in, uh, the, in the cell. The same type of activity here is this, if we can figure out a way to increase um, uh, these mechanisms, these repairing mechanisms for this DNA, then we can live longer. Um, so that is a recap on cellular aging and how the cells age and eventually will die. So we'll see you in the next video.